Hey guys, how are we doing? Crypto Insight UK here, bringing you back another YouTube video. So to start with today, we're going to look at the DXY. You guys know that I do think we're going to see a pullback in crypto. I don't know why that's going to be. People keep asking me. I just feel like something's not right. I've been saying that for a long time. We've talked about liquidity. I'm not going to go into that too much. We look at the DXY right now. DXY, I thought would turn around this 102.5 sort of area. It's continued to rally and we're in that over bought area of the DXY. This has been marked by uh, the overbought area has been marked um, or has marked DXY local tops. Um, at least the last three times we've we've seen it overbought. Um, you could say even since the high. So since the high on the daily when we've been overbought for the DXY, look here, 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 here and here, we have actually sold off. So will this time be different? Will the DXY sell off? If the DXY sells off, that's good for markets, probably. Um, crypto probably pumps if the DXY does sell off. So that's something I will be looking, looking at or looking for. I still feel as I do uh, personally about markets in general. We also can see gold is continuing to rally. Um, it's currently at $2,739. I do want to see some of that market cap rotate into crypto, um, which could be a big catalyst for our bull run. There's other option for the DXY is it continues to break out on more of like a parabolic blow off top to 105 sort of area, top of the range, gets overextended, then pulls back heavily. And that is where we could see uh, crypto then run, which would probably give us space for crypto to drop first. In that time, gold would probably do something similar as well, uh, potentially blow off or would people rotate out of gold into dollars? I don't know. I'm trying to think of what the narrative might be in order for this drop to potentially happen. I'm going to be talking about uh, X, some XRP stuff towards the end of this video as well. Um, I've not mentioned that yet, but there's just a few things I want to mention. In terms of price action, there's not too much to report. I've been saying, I've been pleading caution. If we look on the four hourly for Bitcoin, I can show you why. Um, basically, yes, they lost this support level after having this like, I wouldn't say explosive, but like a a more impulsive move up. This this could be seen as impulsive. One, two, three, four, five, quite clear um, waves. Now we have to see whether this is going to be like an, an A, B, C like this. Let's just see if I can get some drawings going in here. Where's my path? Path, path, path. Where are you? Do you know what? I would get lost on on um on trading view. Oh, I just it's going to be in here shortly. Right. Well, I really can't find that right now. But it would look something like this. That's the A, and then the B would probably come up something like this, maybe into here, or maybe in here, and then you'd see the C like this bang probably will come down to, to here so you might be a bit longer use this area of support like that and then drop down further could look something like that guys if we see the abc or we could get the flush out that i'm looking for um and not that i'm looking for it but just that i predict will come because of elections geopolitical uncertainty all this sort of stuff that i've written about in depth in the newsletter like i do think we come down potentially to this red level here uh, at the least to probably just wick out liquidity below fifty-eight thousand, anywhere between fifty-eight thousand and like 50k maybe even lower to like 48k because there's a lot of liquidity there if we look on trading different that's where i'll be looking for us to come XRP teased us yesterday. It tried to go for the breakout. Now it's rejected, come back and taken some liquidity below. It could come down to this like 51 cent level, but if Bitcoin really shits the bed, um, this area is where I'll be looking for, somewhere around 48 cent, stopping out anyone who's in long positions from here and here. The liquidity will be in this area here for XRP. So keep your eye out on that area. If we do start to lose some support for Bitcoin, that's where I'd look at XRP going. With that being said, yesterday I was reporting on XRP versus Bitcoin. I think uh, we're looking here for a reaction like at the bottom, bottom in sort of area here for XRP. Can, can we hold this higher low now and then continue with some higher low structures uh, to try and break us out of this zone? Now we've moved into this reactionary area that I've called out. That's what I'm watching for. A little bit of news. 
Coin Telegraph posted yesterday that UK pension giant LNG with 1.5 trillion dollars under management is entering crypto by offering tokenized funds, joining the likes of BlackRock and Franklin Templeton. I think that's very exciting. Let's see what happens next. Obviously, Arkex are pretty big in the UK for tokenizing assets and they work with the XRP ledger. Let's see if they're going to work together and what comes next from that. So that's legal in general. And finally, the video here for the XRP ledger. Basically, Pearsist have um, enabled for the XRP ledger to be basically imported into MetaMask. So let's have a watch of uh, this, if they call it Ledger Snap for MetaMask. Let's have a watch of it and see uh, what we think is going to come next. It's amazing because 30 million active users from MetaMask, one click away from having an XRP Ledger account. So this memes, like all this sort of stuff is, is really pushing adoption to the, to the end user for the XRP Ledger and, and I'm really, really for it. So let's see what they're saying. Unveiling the first XRPL MetaMask Snap. The power of the XRP Ledger meets the versatility of MetaMask. A snap allows non-EVM networks to seamlessly integrate with your MetaMask wallet. Now, with our XRPL Snap, you can bring the XRP Ledger, one of the world's top trusted blockchains, directly to MetaMask, the gold standard of non-custodial wallets, long proved and trusted by over 30 million users. Getting started is simple. If you already have a MetaMask wallet but no XRPL account, you can create one using the same mnemonic. If you're an XRPL user without a MetaMask wallet easily import your XRPL account with mnemonic into MetaMask. And if you're new to both, you can create an XRPL account directly within MetaMask. Remember, activating a new XRPL account requires a 10 XRP deposit, which you can quickly complete through our built-in on-ramp using Transac. With our Snap, you can send and receive on one of the fastest and most cost-effective blockchains. Hold XRP, tokens, and NFTs, all within a top 5 blockchain by market cap. Enjoy full support for all XRPL transaction types. Access a built-in on-ramp for easy XRP account activation and purchases through Transact. Now, dApps can offer sign-in with MetaMask, introducing the XRPL to MetaMask users. Developed by Pearsist, a proven leader in the blockchain industry and a key contributor to the XRPL community. The SNAP has been thoroughly audited by Safer, ensuring flawless security for an exceptional community. Experience the power and speed of the XRP ledger within MetaMask. Move XRP beyond borders. Pretty cool development there for XRP if you ask me enabling potentially 30 million people to start using it very seamlessly with metamask or in other news um this is probably but chris larson did donate 10 million in xrp to kama harris now brad garnhouse actually addressed this straight away saying that they were donating to both sides of the aisle and it's up to chris who he donates to and i agree to be honest I'm not, I don't align with Harris at all. And I, I, if I was being honest and personal, I do think that I want to see a shakeup in the US. I think there's a conspiracy theorist in me that's grown a lot more over the last few years. And it's, we think that the whole of politics is low shit, but I'm not going to get into that too much. But that's definitely a headline to t consider for whatever reason he's planned to do that. Maybe he just wants to support her or maybe he's just playing both sides of the aisle giving more attention to XRP. I think it's probably a bit of both. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you agree? If you enjoyed the video, guys, please do share and subscribe. Like, I know a lot of you watchers don't subscribe, and I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, helps me out, and it's free to do. Peace up, A-Town Downs, Crypto Insight UK would say.